Good morning students. In this video, I am going to explain The Rahari Man written by James Whitcomb Riley. It is for second year English students for the subject American Literature. So, James Whitcomb Riley, one of the very famous poet and famous writer in American Literature in America and he has written majority for uh, children and with message, with message and some moral theme also in, uh, in, uh, in his uh, poems. And in the poem starts with, so, oh, the Rehadi man, he works for Pa. So, you have to know what's the meaning of Rehadi. Rehadi means shabby. Sha the sha Rehadi man means untidy and dirty man. The poet is the speaker and he narrates his experience with Rehadi man when he was young. The poet tells us about uh, the Rehadi man works for his father. He praises him that he is very good man ever he saw in his life. He comes to a poet's house every day and takes care of their horses by giving water and hay. When he opens the shade, the children are happy to see the cow uh, who walks unsteadily. It is so fun to the children. Then he milks the cow for Elizabeth and she is also one among the girl according to me who works in poet's house. And the raggedy man is so good and after completing his work in shade, he splits the small pieces of wood for fire. He uses spade tool to clean the garden. Even the children, young boys cannot do the work uh, which are done by raggedy man. He climbs uh, the big tree and shakes it. The apples fall down from the tree. One for poet, one for Elizabeth and one for raggedy man. One day the raggedy man narrates an incident to the poet. The smooth form which was four miles away from the town which was caught fire. And the granary of the smooth, uh, smooth form had got fire. Many animals were dead. He picked one roasted rambut from an orchard tree and ate the roasted hard meat. The Rehadi man had worked with us, so he knew everything what actually happened there. And the poet further says the Rehadi man is so kind and he is the person who takes care of all the horses of poet's house. And he also takes care of the garden and everything. He never refuses to do any kind of work. Sometimes the poet drives him best. And he is so scared, he is afraid of rain, afraid of uh, thunder, noise and gloomy night and as well as old Tim Chang. The Rahari man knows many mythical uh, rhymes also. Sometimes uh, some rhymes were very familiar with uh, uh, poets too. And many mythical creatures names and uh, its history also um, that uh, Rahari man uh, knows about it. And uh, he also tells about, uh, uh, tells about everything to the poet. And Wangs are the shy creatures and don't want to ever be seen. The Wangs turn to see the poet. Maybe uh, it's my imagination or it's my point of view. Actually, in that stanza, I don't know what exactly they are going to mean. But here I have given here. The Wangs turn to see the... Uh, he had shown uh, actually the hole where uh, actually Wangs lived. And uh, it was seen by Elizabeth Ann, father, mother and the raggedy man. One day the Rahadi man comes late. The pigs annoy the Rahadi man in the garden gate. When he enters, he treats pigs as bears. He playfully tells that he is going to shoot the pigs. Old bear shooter, I'll shoot them dead. He bends his uh, hoe and tool like a gun and makes noise like bang bang. Again, he acts like loading uh, his gun and shoot the pigs. The pigs calls him, the, sorry, the poet calls him. He is an old bear and shooter Rahadi man. The poet and his friends are always like to play with Rahadi man. One day they act like uh, act like children of uh, kings and uh, Rahadi man act like, uh, acts like the robber. And he steals all the children as well as coal and he keeps all of them in a cave. The cave is nothing but only the place of Hemo. It is a part of the barn, barn where he, he is stored. One day the Rahari man is making a little bow for the poet. That time he is asking, what do you want to become? You Do you want to become like father as a storekeeper or, or, or want to become a merchant? In this way he is asking. Then finally he said to himself, only God knows what he is going to become. And uh, the poet finally says he doesn't want to be like anything. Only he wants to be a Rahari man. So it's a very famous poem. It tells about innocence and it tells about the hard working of Rahadi Man. The poem was actually the inspiration of Rahadi, Man, Rahadi and all as well as the two films. It was inspired by the German champ. Uh, he was employed by Rayleigh's father in his youth. So I hope you understood everything and I would like to thank this website for the images. Uh, for the images. Thank you students. Thank you for listening and thank you for watching.